In this session, you are going to discuss Chomsky normal form, and this Chomsky normal form will be applied on this context-free grammar. Now, what is the details about that? Let me come to this point. Definition: A context-free grammar is in CNF, that is Chomsky normal form. If every production is of the form capital A produces small a or capital A produces capital B capital C. That means non-terminal produces terminal, non-terminal produces non-terminal non-terminal, and S produces kappa is in G if kappa belongs to L of G when kappa is in L G. We assume that S does not appear on the right hand side of any production. That means S produces kappa will be allowed if null is a is a is an element of L of G. But we shall assume that S will not appear on the right hand side of any production. So this is the Chomsky's normal form. That means all the productions will be of the form non-terminal produces terminal and non-terminal produces non-terminal non-terminal and S produces kappa is also valid if kappa null is is an element of L of G and we shall assume that S will not appear on the right hand side of any production in this CFG. Example, S produces AB, non-terminal produces non-terminal, non-terminal, S produces kappa, let me check whether in the right hand side any S is there, no. Non-terminal produces terminal, capital A produces small a, non-terminal produces terminal, capital B produces small b, all of them are satisfying this CNFA rules, all of them are satisfying this CNF rules. So, they are this G is in CNF. So, we have given one example, definition has been discussed, now let us go for the steps, how to make one grammar to the respective CNF. Theorem, for every CFG, there is an equivalent grammar G2 in CNF. So, for all CFGs, we can go for one CNF, we can deduce one CNF. So, what are the steps? We are having 1, 2, 3, 4 steps are there. Let me go for the first one. Elimination of null and unit productions. So, elimination of null and unit productions. So, whatever the grammar will be given to you, you shall have to check whether it is having any null productions. You know, null productions means non terminal produces null, and unit production means non terminal produces non terminal. If it is so, then it is having unit productions. So, at first you should have to check the given grammar is null production free and unit production free or not. If it is not, then you should have to uh, make them free and how to make, how to eliminate the null productions, how to eliminate unit productions, we are having a separate videos and there we have written the algorithm steps, we have explained that one using the proper examples, please watch them. So, that is my step number 1, so we have completed. Step number 2. Okay, along with this, let us discuss the example also. So, this is the example. Reduce the following grammar to CNF, the G is. So, these are the product, production rules are given. Are you finding any kind of non terminal produces null? No. So, this particular grammar is null production eliminated already. Are you finding any production like non terminal produces non terminal? No. That means this grammar is already unit production eliminated. So, step 1 has got executed on this particular grammar. So, let me come to the step 2. Elimination of terminals on the right hand side. So, that is the step 2. We define G 1 that is a V n dash sigma P 1 S. So, from the mother grammar that is G, we are deferring in V n dash because that was V n. We are deferring this P 1 because that was in G was P where P1 and Vn dash will be defined as follows. All productions of the form A produces A or A produces BC are included in P1. That means, those productions which were in the mother grammar that is G in the production set P, which are already in the Chomsky normal form CNF that is non-terminal produces terminal and non-terminal produces non-terminal non-terminal. If you are finding such productions, please include them in P1. So, it is depicting that one. So, that is my step 2, 1. So, let me go for that. So, step 1, 
So, that is no null and unit productions in G. So, it has been done. So, I am going for step 2 1. Here you see we are having this set of productions rules and B produces B and E produces D they are already in the Chomsky's number form because non-terminal produces terminal is the form of this particular production rules. So, so B produces B and E produces D are included. So, I think I have executed this one are included in P1 ok included in P1 ok. Now, we are going for step number 2 that means step 2 2. So, consider A produces x1 x2 dot dot xn where xi belongs to vt that means on the right hand side there are some terminal symbols on the right hand side there are some terminal symbols uh, vt say ai ok. Say so, ai is that uh, terminal symbol there then add c ai to vn dash and c ai produces ai to p1 and replace x i in a produces x1 x2 dot dot xn by c ai thus we shall get g 1 is equal to v n dash sigma p 1 s. So, this is the full story they are telling. So, if it is coming obscure to you please go for the example that will be better for our uh, for us for explanation I think ok. So, I am going for step number 2 2. So, here we are having s produces a a d we are having this s produces a a d. Okay. Now, see in this particular case let us consider it is x 1 it is x 2 it is x 3 and sum of the x 1 or x i is uh, is belonging to uh, v t here it is a v t because it is a terminal. So, I shall decide in this way I shall include c a produces a this production rule I shall include and also s produces C A A D. So, in this way it will work. Let me let me check. So, add C A I to this. So, C A I produces A I to P 1 and also this X I will be replaced by C A I to get this. So, now this is the case in this way it will it will be coming. So, now go for the next one we are having this. So, what is this we are having this uh, A produces A B. So, I shall be writing this one as A produces C A B because already C A produces A we have done already C A produces A we have done ok. So, now in this way it is working. Achha. Next we are having this B A D sorry B A B. So, A produces B A B. So, I shall write in this way uh, C B produces B and A produces C B A B. So, in this way we have done. So, in this way we have done. So, now let us con uh, consider this V n dash and P 1 whatever you have done so far. So, V n dash is equal to Now, just consider this P 1 that means, what are the production rules we have considered so far? We already considered your B produces B and E produces D. So, these two production rules are this one ok. Here we considered here we consider this one C A produces A and S produces C A A D. So, this one C A produces uh, S produces C A A D and C A produces A. Here we have considered C A produces C B. So, C A produces C B. Here we have considered C B produces B and A produces C B A B. So, C B A B. So, we have written all this in our P 1. So, now let us go for our step 3. So, this is my V n dash and this is the P 1. So, now this particular part we have prepared. Now, we shall go for the step number 3 ok. Now, go for the step number 3. All productions in P are added to P2 if they are in the required form 
all variables vn dash are added to vn dash dash. That means here which production rules are in the Chomsky's normal form. So, this is in the Chomsky's normal form, it is also, it is also and it is also. Are you getting anyone? It is also. So, all these production rules will be included in our final uh, production rule set. So, that will be included record form will be included in Vn dash dash and P2. It, all these production rules will be included in V2, P2 and the Vn dash dash. Okay. Now, what is the Vn dash dash here? Vn dash dash will be consisting of all this, all this, uh, all this uh, uh, variables will be there in the Vn dash dash. So, this part we are okay. Now, let me go for the next. We are going for the step, step 3 last part. We are having A produces A1, A2, dot dot AM, where AM is greater than or equal to 3. That means, it is not in the Chomkis normal form, because on the right hand side you can expect maximum 2 variables, but it is greater than or equal to 3. We introduce a new productions A produces A1 C1, C1 produces A2 C2 dot dot dot, dot. C M minus 2 produces A M minus 1 A M and new variable C1 C2 dot dot, dot C M minus 2 and these are added to P dash dash and V N dash dash respectively. Okay. Now, let me apply this one here. This was this was not there. So, what, what should I do? I shall go for this one as. S produces C A A D. So, you are having what is the length here? Length is 3. So, they are telling that if the length is greater than or equal to 3, you should go. Then I am just writing this one in this way. S produces C A C 1 and C 1 produces A D. You see that in the Chomkis normal form. That in the Chomkis normal form, this one. Because on the right hand side, we are having two terminals, two non terminals. Next. So, we have done it, we are remaining with this one. So, it is my A produces C B A B, that means A produces C B C 2 and C 2 produces A B. You see, they are also in the Chomkis number form. So, they are to be included, this production rules and the respective new variables that is C 1 and C 2. So, this, this production rules will be included to P dash dash and V n dash dash. So, production rules will be going to P dash dash and the new symbols that is the C 1 and C 2 will be going to V n dash dash. So, in this way I have got my final grammar ready for this particular problem. Okay. Now, last step, step 4. L of g should be a subset of L of g 1. We start with w which belongs to L of g. Let us consider one sentence w which is and belongs to L of g. If A produces x 1, x 2 dot 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 x n is used in the derivation of w. So, if this is a production rule which has been used to derive this particular sentence from the start symbol uh, to w, the same effect can be achieved by, by using productions in p 1 and the productions using new variables. Hence, A can also produce this is the case. They are telling that what whatever they are telling, I am just uh, giving you the idea. So, we had this production rules A produces B A B, but it has been replaced by you see A produces C B A B and C B can produce that B and here it has been splitted as C B C 2 and C 2 can produce A B. So, they are telling that in the mother grammar if that corresponding language is L of G and that language will be a subset of L of G 1 due to this particular reason. This particular step 3 can have big analytical explanations and all. For the sake of simplicity, we are just omitting that one, we are writing the core uh, concept here in the case of step 4. And in this way, if you can maintain step 1, 2, 3 and 4, then we can make a grammar like this to the respective Chomsky's normal form. So, in this way, the grammar has been converted to the re respective CNF form. I think you are getting this idea. We shall have other examples on CNF in our next videos. Please watch them for the better uh, idea on this particular topic. Thanks for watching this one.